Okay, so if you want to save a video off YouTube, first you'll search for a video. So I've gone onto youtube.com and I've typed in Mr. Woffy and I've searched and what I've found is Mr. Woffy Rides Recumbent. If I click on this now, I should be able to see the video. But just pause it a second. Hold on. Okay, right. Um if I want to maximize the screen, screen, sorry. There's a bottom in the bottom right hand corner, there is this tab which makes the screen full size so I suggest you do that to watch the rest of this tutorial okay then I can press play and we see the video okay I can then close it down again and it's still in the same place right so now you found a video you might want to save I would click on the URL, the URL at the top uh, in the top bar copy it so right click and then select copy now I'd open a new file Oh, sorry, a new window, Internet Explorer window. And I would type in save tube. Okay, so S A V E S A V E T U B E dot com. Okay. Lovely, okay, now I paste, if I select the box which says video to save, and then I'll right click, paste the uh, the text I've just taken from the last page, and then I'll click on go to uh, give me an URL to download. So now it says here in the green, click the link below to begin the download, okay, so I click on the link, and it tells me do I want to find, save, or cancel, well obviously I want to save it. I'm going to save it onto my desktop. I'm going to call it Mr. Woffy because that's what it was. And we'll call it, and very importantly now, you have to end the file in .flv. If you don't do that, none of the rest of the process will work. Okay, so I've saved my file as Mr. Woffy.flv. And conveniently, it's just downloaded in time for me as well. Okay, so I can close this window now and here is the file that I've just downloaded now unfortunately at the moment I will not be able to play this file with Windows Media Player because it's a flash video file so what you need to do is if you're working on a computer at home go onto Google and type in bitcomet flv converter flv converter Okay, should be the first link that comes up. Select that. Okay, and here we are. It says Bitcoin FLV converter, and this is what you need to download. There it is. It's a con it's a program. So once you've downloaded that, it will then ask you to install it. Install it, and you'll get the program in your program files in your program section here. It's on my shortcuts here. So I'm going to open my Bitcoin FLV converter. And the first question it asks me is, well, actually, the first question it asks me at the top here is, do I want it to convert video to FLV or FLV to video? Well, I've got an FLV and I want it to turn into a video, so FLV to video. Then it asks me for source file, which is where I'm going to get the file from. So if I click on the tab next to that, go to my desktop, there's the Mr. Woffy one. Okay, and then it says export to. Well, I want to export it to the same place I got it from, so I'll just go and find the same file and click on that again. A bit laborious but sometimes it has to be done. Alright, now export type. I can export my file as an AVI file if I wanted but AVI files are very large and they don't go into PowerPoints so I'm just going to stick with quite a convenient Windows Media Video WMV. Okay, now if I was to attempt to convert this now it says please enter a frame rate. Not a problem, just find the frame rate bar and select original. Again, if I was to try to convert it again, the same. It says, please enter a bitrate. Okay, so I just select the bitrate thing, and I would usually put in 800, which has always worked for me. Uh, if you ever have problems, maybe you'd want to mess with that and see what happened. But I've not had a problem with 800 so far. Now I'll click convert. And it's just working on that. It's finished, because that little button's come up, so I can close it all down. And now I have a WMV file named Mr. Woffy. Okay, double-click that. 
and there is my video file working. Unfortunately, you won't be able to see that video working, uh, but take my word for it, it was working. Now what I want to show you is how to put that video into a PowerPoint. So if I go to PowerPoint, let's call it Mr. Waffy. Okay, double click and open my PowerPoint. Okay, I just want a blank screen. Now, top, you've got all these different buttons. I'm going to select Insert, Movies and Sounds, and then Movie from File. And here is my. Oh, so, look at the desktop. Select Mr. Waffy. Okay. Now it's asking me, how do I want the movie to start in the slideshow? Automatically or when clicked? Well, I'll select, or I'll select when clicked because I'd like to be able to control when I see it. Okay, so this is one method of showing the PowerPoint. So now if I go to slideshow from current slide or just F F6, whatever, and click on it, you can hear the audio probably on this, but you won't be able to see the video. I can see the video, but it's just down to the screen capture technology I'm using. Okay, so the video works. Just escape that now. And I'll show you another way, which I think is a preferable way, of um, playing video from PowerPoint. Um, I've taken just any auto shape. You can use anything actually, te a piece of text if you wanted. Uh, whatever you want, right? And you can turn it into a hyperlink. I'm just going to take this button, which I've created, or this circle, and make it a bit prettier first. Make it green, nice thick line. Okay, so it looks like a button. I'm just going to add some text to it. So I'm, every time I'm changing the properties of this, I'm right clicking on it, selecting for instance, say format auto shape to change its colors, or uh, add text to add some text, so I'll call it video. I'm misspelling a video. Alright, so now I've got a what looks like a decent button. If I now right click on it and select hyperlink, go onto my desktop and find the video. There it is, Mr. Waffy. Okay, now I've got a hyperlink which will work, and that would also work with any anything else you choose. Do the same thing. Right click on it, and select um, the video you want to play, or any program you would like to open during PowerPoint, and that would work too. And if I f full screen this, you can see the little finger pops up to show you that you've got a hyperlink there. So if I click on either of these, I'll get Windows Media Player up. And again, you won't be able to see this video because of the screen capture technology I'm using, but the video does work perfectly, and if you were doing this in the classroom, it would be fine. Okay. So that shows you how to put videos into PowerPoint, the videos you might have just saved from YouTube. Now, there are a few other important points. Um, if I save this and close it, what you really want to be able to do is put these into one folder or in, in one file, so I'll call it Mr. Waffy. Again, just to be consistent, if I stick these two files now into that folder, as long as the video file and the PowerPoint file stay together, then I could put this on a memory stick, duplicate it, hand it out to lots of different people, and and there won't be any problems with um, the, any having having any dead links or anything like that. So just try to keep everything in the same file and keep the video files in the file with the PowerPoint, otherwise they won't work. Right, okay, I think that will do for that tutorial. So I'll just